<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, again, I have the incredible great fortune of not speaking to the world this morning, but to speaking to an amazing group of children in Sunday school. So Steve Collins coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coaching speaker. In the world. That's right. And today we're talking about what can separate you from his love? So let's go ahead and everybody gather around, take a seat, and we're going to just dig right in this morning. You guys ready? Yes, oh, well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's all good. Thank you, guys. Y'all ready? What yes. can separate you? So here's what we're going to get into. All right. Are you ready for this? Yes. Are you really ready for this? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to read something that Paul said in Romans 8, 31. This is powerful. And the title of this is that we are more than conquerors. Who wants to be a conqueror? Rah. Rah. Who wants to be more than a conqueror? Rah. Rah. Can I hear a rah? Rah. rah? That's what I'm talking about. You guys are more than conquerors. He says, what then shall we say in response to all this stuff? If God is for us, then who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all of us, everybody, how will he not also along with him graciously Give us all things. Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It's God who justifies or makes right. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding or praying for us. Who's excited that Jesus prays for us? Y'all excited about that? I'm real excited about that because I need lots of prayer, y'all. More than that, he's at the right hand interceding for us. So who shall separate us from the love of Christ? No one. Shall trouble? No one. I love it. That was our answer. Hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, sword, as it is written, for your sake we face death. All day long we're considered sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are what? More than conquerors through him who loved us. And I got to tell you guys, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Let me ask you guys a quick question. What would you have to do to have your mom and daddy stop loving on you? What could you do where your mom and daddy say, I don't love you no more? If you're bad. I don't love you. So if you're bad, you think me and mom would say, I don't love you no more? No. I was going to say, boy, come on. You must see. You got you to understand this. What can separate you from God's love? Nothing. If your mom and daddy, who are crazy sometimes, like me and my beautiful wife, because we are all people, we all struggle, we all have hard times. If we are those who will love you forever, no matter what, how much more so will God? So he finishes in saying this, and we're going to wrap up our lesson easy today. No, he says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. I'm convinced that neither death nor life Angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, no any powers, neither height nor depth or anything else in all creation can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. What can separate you from God's love? Nothing! What can separate you? Nothing! Nothing! And what are we? We are more than conquerors. That's right. Love you guys. Boom!